It is now official. The state house and Senate have hit a budget roadblock, and that roadblock is gambling. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. Thanks for joining us. House Republicans will not agree to adding video and casino gambling to the state budget, but the Senate is insisting on it. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the legislative building where that news broke this morning. Laura. Renee, you know, as we've been telling you for a while now, lawmakers have been saying that this is the week that they would have a budget deal. But the struggle over adding gambling to the state budget has been going on for months, and it apparently has not yet been resolved. Senate Republicans and House Republican leaders want to add a massive expansion of gambling to the state spending plan. But about 30 social conservatives in the House Republican caucus have held fast in opposition. Well, that's after hours of meetings behind closed doors yesterday. Moore says without those votes, the budget will not pass. He said gambling is now the only thing holding up the delayed spending plan. That is absolutely correct. That is the only thing holding up the budget. And so from the House, we're ready to move forward with a budget that does not include gaming because like there's so many other great things in there that frankly need to be done for the people of North Carolina. Now this leaves the ball of course in Senate leader Phil Berger's court. He said as recently as yesterday that the only way the Senate would approve additional gambling would be in the budget. So it's unlikely we'll see a budget today. In the meantime, state employees and teachers are still waiting for their raises, and uh, state, about half a million people in North Carolina are waiting for Medicaid expansion. The budget's already two and a half months late, and nothing about that is going to change until these folks come to a deal. Renee? So much writing on the passage of a state budget, now weeks overdue. Laura Leslie, live at the state legislature. Thank you.